Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my Redstone tutorial series. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build a working vending machine. Now, one of my subscribers, uh, Mr. Shaw Studios, asked if I had any new vending machine concepts, because of course, the last vending machine I made, and I looked this up, was about five years ago. I think it was 2016, 2015, somewhere around there. So of course, all my old Redstone on, you know, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, of course, that does not work on Bedrock. Because Bedrock's in a whole new ball game with Redstone. Whole new ball game. So I came up with this, and I think it looks really good. A beautiful vending machine design right here. So now we're not going to go through all four of them because they all work the same. But let's go over here. And my payment on this one is one iron ingot for some food. Yeah, that, that's a, that's kind of highway robbery, but it's completely up to you. Now, these vending machines are just a one-for-one -one trade item. You know, you just trade one item, you get one item back. Now, you don't have to ask in the future. I will definitely make a more advanced one, you know, where you get, you have to pay multiple items to different things and you get more items for it. But right now, I just wanted to keep it nice, clean, simple. You know, you can put this in your world right away. You can put it in a train station, airport, anywhere you'd like to put this thing so if we come right over here it says one iron ingot okay i don't want to pay one iron ingot for some cooked chicken but i guess we have to so if i just drop in one iron ingot like that i can now buy any one of these items so i want to buy this cooked chicken right here i just click the button and now it works just like a vending machine in real life you get the item it drops to the bottom of the vending machine and then you can go ahead and grab it now you're probably looking at me going Hey, Fed, what happens if I rapid fire click all those buttons to try to get as many items as possible? Of course, I set up a prevention system so people cannot do that. So if I put in my one iron ingot once again, like that, and now I'm going to crouch so I could, you know, try to click these as quick as possible, as quick as possible. Here we go. One, two, and three. Ah. <laughs> the last one, I kind of went a little slow there, but I clicked the chicken first. So that means I should only get the chicken. If I come in here, boom. All there is, is chicken. So, people cannot steal from you. I mean, if your friend's going to do that anyway, you might want to find some new Minecraft friends. So, let's try a different one. Let's try the beef, then the mutton. Let's see. Beef, mutton, and chicken. <laughs> and all I got was the cooked beef. Now, of course, if we put in any item that is not part of our payment system, let's say I put a honey bottle in here, nothing will happen. You have to use your payments. Now, let's go ahead and look at the redstone real quick. Now, I know this looks a little bit big. It started off small, but to make the whole prevention system so people can't steal a bunch of stuff from you, like right over here is just an item sorter. You know, anyone anyone can pretty much build an item sorter that hooks into my dispensers up here, well, droppers, to let the item out. Now, this part right over here, this is the prevention system. This whole thing right here is just so people can't steal a bunch of items from your vending machine. So let's go down here. Now, I also made it so, you know, it's an easy access so if you are putting this in your survival world and you want to have easy access to your vending machine, so right here is my payment system. I Well, I just bought a couple of things from here, so I have six iron ingots, so I can go ahead and grab out my payment. And now this chest back here, this is the cool chest right here, because this will let you know how nice your friends are to you. This thing lets you know what people are trying to steal from you. So if I go in here, here's the extra items that would have got stolen from me, and I've tested this out a few times, but here's all the extra items that would have got stolen from me. But my prevention system stops that and puts it back in this chest right here. So that will let you know if your friends are trying to steal from you. And now over here, this is where the items funnel down to that aren't part of our payment system. See, that's where that honey bottle is. So you can get some extra items if people are trying to just throw dirt in there. And then, of course, if we just come up this ladder, this is going to be your restock. So you can come right up here and just refill all your dispensers with your items you are trying to sell. All right, guys, for this build, you're going to need a six by seven spacing, and you're also going to have to dig down four. Now, the resources you will need for this build are four sticky pistons, one piston, eight droppers, five hoppers, four redstone comparators, five redstone repeaters, four redstone torches, 12 redstone, three buttons, one lever, seven chests, 15 glass blocks, four sea lanterns, three armor stands, two stairs of your choice, two slabs of your choice, and a payment item. You can use diamonds. You can use whatever can stack. And if you want to use like honey bottles and things like that, all you have to do is just put five in there. So if you want to use honey bottles, all you'll need is five. But we'll go over that later on. And these blocks right down here are just my building blocks of choice. So I'll be putting my redstone down on these blocks. And then these blocks right over here will be for my vending machine. All right, guys. So once you've dug out your area, gathered up all your resources, we're going to start off by putting our vending machine in first. So we're going to come to the bottom left-hand corner. And we're just going to count over three blocks. So one two, three, and then on this block right here at the top, we're gonna place a chest facing towards us. So this is where our items from our vending machine will funnel down into, so we can go ahead and grab them. Next up, right behind this chest, we're just gonna place a block real quick, 
another block over here, and then we're going to have a hopper going into the side of this block. Now we're going to place a chest right behind this hopper, and this will be for the items that don't belong in here. So if someone throws dirt in there and your payment's diamonds, it will funnel over to this chest and not into your machine so people can buy, you know, a wither skeleton skull for a piece of dirt. We don't want that. Next up, right above this hopper, we have to place a dropper facing down. So just come two blocks up, break this, fall down here, and then place your dropper facing downwards into that hopper like that. That's where we're going to be putting our payment item into. And then just come up two more blocks from there. You can go with whatever color you want for your vending machine. I'm just going to go with a blue. And then we can go ahead and just place our three buttons on top of it. Next up, take out your staircase and place a staircase right next to this dropper upside down. So now we can enter like that. And now we're going to go ahead and place in our displayed items so we're going to come right back here right behind this chest and we're going to place a block right behind it take out your armor stand and then come to the other side of your vending machine place in your armor stand and now we're going to have to click it until his arm is facing outwards if you've seen my displayed item video then this should be very easy for you so boop there we go he's has his hand out and now we just have to pick an item that we want to sell so let's see i want to sell some let's do enchantment balls let's do some more enchantment bottles. So I'm just gonna sell some bottles of enchanting on the first one. So let's go ahead and put a bottle of enchanting in his hand. Next up, we're gonna go behind the armor stand, placing two blocks in, one, two. Take out your sea lantern, place your sea lantern right here. Place a piston facing towards your sea lantern. Place a lever and then flip it down like that. So we can go ahead and remove both of those, but now we need a hopper underneath him right here. So do not break this block. What we're gonna do is break this block right here. Place a hopper going into the block that that armor stands on top of right here. And then break this block right here. Because now we have to push the hopper into the armor. Because if we did it with the hopper there, it would have just fell into the hopper. And it wouldn't have looked this good. So now all we have to do is just place a piston going towards this hopper right here. Place down your lever. And now flip it down. So make sure there's no block there. And we're just going to flip it down. And see, the armor stand doesn't move. And now the hopper is underneath it. Now all you have to do is just break this chest, break this block, and place in your chest back down here. Now the only reason we had to do that is, like I said before, if we placed the hopper right there, the armor stand would have fell into the hopper and got stuck in the hopper. So that will make it so it looks good. So now we can go ahead and remove that. Next up, we can take out our glass blocks and place all three glass blocks right in front of our armor stands. And now we're just going to do the exact same thing we did here. So right above this armor stand, we're going to place in yet again another armor stand. And now we're going to go ahead and click it until his arm is sticking out. So do, 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 all the way over. There we go. And now let's say in this hand, I want him to sell some hearts of the sea. There we go. And now we just got to do the same thing. Place in a sea lantern right behind him. Place a piston facing towards that sea lantern. And then just send power to it. Just like that. And now one more time. Place in your arm stand right above it. Go ahead and click the arm until his arm is sticking out. And then get an item out that you want to sell. And for his last item, I'm just going to make him sell an emerald. So again, we're going to do the same thing. Piston, sea lantern, send power to it, push it in. We don't need all that. And then one last time for the top part of the armor stand, piston, sea lantern, and then go ahead and just send power to it. So that's going to be the front of our vending machine looking nice. And now all we have to do is just place two slabs right above it like that. And there is our vending machine in place. Now we can go ahead and set up the payment system and the system so people can't steal stuff from you. So now we're going to swing over here to the backhand side and we're going to place in three droppers facing towards our sea lantern. So let's come out a block right here. Take out your droppers and place one, two, and three. Make sure they are facing towards the sea lantern right there. We can go ahead and break these blocks and then just come out three blocks from here. One, two, three. Break these two blocks. Take out your sticky pistons and place three sticky pistons facing towards those droppers. And then we'll come back to that later. We're going to come down here and we're going to make our item sorter first. So right underneath this hopper right here, we're just going to place in a block underneath this chest. Place a hopper facing into that block. Then we're going to take out another block, place it right here with a hopper facing into this block right here. So there we go. And now if you want to, you can dig out this area just a little bit more and you can go ahead and place in your double chest right here in front of that hopper. That's where your payment is going to be going into. So, you know, if you're charging people diamonds, their diamonds will go into that chest right there. But now coming out of this block that our second hopper is near, we're just going to come out one like that. And then we're going to place a redstone comparator coming out of this block right here. So just take out your redstone comparators and place one facing out from that block right there. Next up, we're going to place a block in front of that redstone comparator, a block over, and a block down here. Next up, take out your redstone and place two redstone on these blocks. One, two. Then coming out of the block with this redstone, we're just going to place a repeater. 
place a piece of redstone, place a block in front of it, and then place a redstone torch off the side of the block. And that will make our auto sorting system. This will basically make it so you can only have one payment. It's just a simple auto sorting system. And then right inside this hopper in the middle is where our payment item is going to be going. So we're going to go in here. We're going to take out our payment item. I'm going to be using diamonds and we're just going to place in four diamonds right here. And then on the last one, we're going to place in 18 diamond. Make sure you set it up this way. The back four should be one. And then the front one should be 18. It's just like an item sorting system. If you know how to do those, then you'll be absolutely fine. So now we can go ahead and quickly test it out. If I go inside this dropper and place in my diamond, it will activate it. And now the diamond will be down here inside this hopper. And as you can see, it's still 18 and four. So once you got your item sorter in place, we're going to go ahead and build our purchase system. So when we throw the item in there, we can purchase something. So coming out of this back redstone right here, off our item sorter, we're going to place in a block like that. Place in a redstone torch off the side, a block on top of that redstone torch, and a redstone torch on top of that block. Next up, take out your droppers, and coming off of this off torch, we're going to place a dropper facing in towards our build off the side of it. And now we have to place another dropper facing towards this one. So just place a block here, take out your droppers once again, and place another dropper facing into this dropper. Next up, go inside the dropper that has your torch and just place one item in it. It doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and just put an emerald in there. That's that's a one pricey item. All you need to do is put a piece of dirt in here and it will work fine. <laughs> I don't recommend using an emerald. And then coming out of the side of this dropper right here, we're just going to come out a block. And we're going to place a redstone comparator coming out of this dropper. It should come on right now. Next up, place a block in front of that redstone comparator. Then place a redstone torch on top of the block. A block on top of that a piece of redstone here then we're going to come a block up to the side of it right here placing a piece of redstone right off this block and then just come up another block right here with another piece of redstone so right now we actually want these sticky pistons to be holding these dispensers so just quickly take out a button or something like that and we're going to go ahead and just send power to because right now we have no items in there to buy so now we can go ahead and test out our purchase circuit so if i go right inside of my dropper and i drop in my diamond it should push these sticky pistons over, now letting me buy something. See, I can go ahead and buy something. But of course, once we do that, we want to make sure that when we buy something, it closes it so people don't keep going, you know, click, click, let me let me just take everything from you. We don't want that. So before we move on from there, we're going to place in two glass blocks right above this chest. So one, two. And if you want to, you can actually add in an extra chest here for the items that don't belong inside of your build so you know you can go ahead and grab them if people throw dirt in there well now you got a free piece of dirt so our next circuit is going to be our after purchase circuit so after we buy something we want it to close this off so we're going to come out from this hopper right here and we're going to place in yet again another hopper like that then place a block coming out of this hopper then we're going to come down a block take a redstone comparator and place a redstone comparator coming out of this block right here and then just go ahead and place a block up in front of that redstone comparator. And now what this will do is turn it off after someone purchased something. So first I have to put things in here so we can purchase it. And we also have to cap it off so the items always go over here. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and put some items in my dispenser. So the bottom is bottle of enchanting, then heart of the sea, then emerald. So bottom dispenser is going to be my bottle of enchanting. The middle one's going to be the heart of the seas. And then the top one is going to be the emeralds. So now we could actually buy something, but before we do that, we have to put the wall around it because since we have these droppers going into blocks, we want to make sure that the items always funnel out over here. You want to make sure the items always go right here. So now we're going to take out our walling block and we're just going to place walling blocks along the whole top area, bring it right over and fill it in to this side like that. So now our vending machine will look like that. Then we're going to come over to this side. And right next to these extended sticky pistons, we're going to place in a wall of glass. And right here, we're going to place in, yet again, another wall of glass. So now we can go ahead and choose our item. It should funnel right in here and then turn the system off. So let's say I want to buy a heart of the sea. The item will fall into the hopper right there, turning our system off. And then we can go ahead and take it. Now, if you don't have people in your world that are going to rapid click this thing and break it or, you know, try to buy a bunch of items, you can stop here you're done if you, if you don't have people that are going to keep taking your stuff from you <laughs> you are completely done you can stop the video right now but now we're going to go ahead and add in that prevention system that will stop people from you know clicking it rapidly and getting three items instead of one 
So to stop people from grabbing all of your stuff, if you have those kind of friends, we're going to come right down here and place a block down right underneath where this hopper is. And then we're going to place in a sticky piston facing up towards that hopper. Next up, we're going to come right back over here to where this comparator is that's going into that dropper. And we're going to place in two more droppers. Now, right off this block, we need to place a dropper facing down. And then right underneath this dropper, we have to place another dropper. And then go ahead and place your dropper facing up. Oh, make sure it's facing up. There we go. Perfect. Now, inside of this dropper, we need a non-stackable item. So I like to just use a wooden shovel. Just make sure these items cannot stack. So I'm going to quickly take out a wooden shovel and put it in the top of my dropper. Now, before we move on to this next part, everything's going to get really tight in here. So we're going to come right down here. And next to this sticky piston, we're going to place a block with a piece of redstone on top of it. Now, we don't want these two connecting. So make sure you place a block right here to cut off that redstone. And then coming out of this redstone right here, we're going to place in an observer block like that. Then coming out of this observer block, like I said, it's going to get really close to red. Everything's going to get close together in here. So next, coming out of this observer block right here. We're going to place in a repeater. So go ahead and place a repeater coming out of that observer block. Set it to four ticks delay. Next, place a block in front of that four tick delay repeater block. And then place a repeater going that away on four ticks delay. Make sure you're facing them the right direction. Because if you don't, it's not going to work. Next, place another block in front of that repeater right there. Block here. And another repeater on four ticks delay. So now that we got that out of the way, like I said, everything is getting pretty close in there. <laughs> We're going to place a block up next to this bottom dropper right here where our top dropper is. So just place a block right here next to this bottom dropper. Next, take out a redstone comparator. Face a redstone comparator coming out of it. It should come on because the items inside our dropper. Then we're just going to place a block up in front of the redstone comparator. And then we're going to place a block underneath it with a piece of redstone. And that should make our sticky piston extend. And as you can see, that went off as well. Next, we're going to place a block up in front of our repeater now. Place a piece of redstone on top of it. And that is your prevention system done. So if someone tries to multi-click things after they paid, they won't get it. So let's go ahead and test that out. So we're just going to put in our payment item, our diamond. And now let's say I want to buy an emerald. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a cheeky person. <laughs> and I want to steal a bunch of stuff from you. So boom, boom. And uh, <laughs> I'm terrible at this. But as you can see, I clicked both of those pretty quick. And oh, oh, well... <laughs> You know what I forgot to do? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Over here, where this hopper drops down, we have to have a chest so the items can funnel out of it. I, it just stayed in the hopper and went back in there. So right here, next to the extended sticky piston, we just have to place in a chest. And you can also make it a double chest if you want to. So I'm going to make mine. I'm actually going to go ahead and make mine a double chest. There we go. So now, <laughs> now people won't be able to steal some from me. So let's go ahead and get a diamond out again. Place it in here. There we go. So now I can buy stuff. And now we're going to try to do it. So boom. And I did that really slow. Let me try that again. But as you can see, I got my emerald. All right. So here we go. I'm going to try to click this fast. Hopefully I don't mess up again. So one, two, and three. There we go. I'm sure other people can do it faster. But trust me, there's no way they're going to be able to steal something. As you can see, boom. There's our item. We could not steal it. And now one more thing we need to do is just place in a staircase right underneath our vending machine where our item comes out so people can't see underneath it. So now when I come over here and I look down there, I can only see my vending machine item right there. And guys, that's it. You are completely done. So now all that's left to do, you know, just clean up the area. Let's place some blocks here. Let's place some blocks here. Bring up my wall right here as well. And on this side as well. Now, if you are doing this in a world where you're going to be using this thing and, you know, people might actually use it, buy stuff from it and do things. I left this open area right here. So you can always, you know, build something to get down here to go collect your stuff. Because right down here, if we just dig out a little bit more right here, is where everything will be funneling into. So let's just dig out this wall right here. There we go. So when someone buys something, the payment will go in here. So as you can see, I have four diamonds in there. If someone tries to multi-click and steal stuff, as you can see, there's the items they tried to steal. If they try to throw in anything that doesn't belong in there, like in here. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever did that. So, you know, if I throw a piece of, uh, let's say I throw a chest in there. <laughs> if they try to throw stuff in there and that doesn't belong in there, it will funnel over to this chest. And then, of course, all you need to do is just make like a little ladder to get up here to fill up. Or, you know, you can even just go like this and fill it up from here. Oh, and I almost forgot too. You might want to put a sign on your dropper right here. So people know what they actually have to pay. So <laughs> that would that would be good if people knew what they had to pay. So I'm going to go ahead and just say one 
El Diamond. There we go. I should really just hook up a keyboard to my Xbox and make my life easier, but there we go. One diamond for all of this great stuff. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a working vending machine inside of Minecraft Bedrock. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading. All right, guys. Peace.